Mike. Sandra, for more on this, let's bring in Tom Homan, Fox News contributor and former acting ICE director. Tom, welcome. Thanks for having me. Your reaction to Bill's reporting about this Saudi national captured in the Yuma sector wearing an EMS uniform from upstate New York. Look, I'm not surprised. I mean, I've been saying all year long, when you open the border to illegal immigration like the Biden administration does, half the border patrol is no longer patrolling the line. They're processing family groups and, and facilities. So when half the border patrol is not on the line, that's when the fentanyl comes through that killed over 100,000 people that sh this year. And that's when c criminals and gang members come across. And certainly, I've said all along, that is vulnerable to terrorists coming across that country. Border patrol was already arrested over 15 on the FBI screening database. So out of the 600,000 that they didn't catch, the gotaways this year, 600,000, how many of them were known as suspected terrorists? Because terrorists don't turn themselves over to the border patrol. They're trying to get away. That's the scary thing. How many of the 600,000 people entered this country to do us harm? Hmm. Texas Governor Greg Abbott is tired of waiting for Washington to take more action at the border. Take a listen to this. This unprecedented action is needed for one single reason, and that's because the Biden administration has failed to do its job as required by the Constitution, as required by laws passed by Congress, to enforce the immigration laws of the United States of America. Is this the new reality, a state enforcing the federal government's border? Well, first of all, I agree with I think the president and, and Secretary Mayorkas have violated their oath to, to enforce the laws of this country and protect our sovereignty. But, you know, God bless Governor Abbott. I mean, he should be the Secretary of Homeland Security because he gets it. He obviously has looked at the data that shows every place a wall or barrier has been built, illegal immigration declined, illegal drug flow declined. That is a fact. The data is clear on the CBP website. So walls work. The Biden administration is ignoring that data, and they're not building a wall simply because it's, it's related to Trump somehow. But let me be clear. G Governor Abbott's doing the right thing. Every mile of wall will mm -hmm. result in, in decreased illegal immigration, decreased drug flow, less women being sexually assaulted, less children dying. Walls will save lives at the same time helping to protect this country. Let's put some numbers on the screen. Border encounters in the month of November, 173,620. That's up from 164,753 in October. How do you assess those numbers, Tom? The numbers continue to be historic numbers. November was the highest November in the history of this nation. The 1.6, if they say 1.6, I think it's 1.9 because they're not given all the data that's available. We had more illegal immigration this year under President Biden than we've had in the history of this nation, in the history of U.S. Border Patrol. They took the most secure border I've seen in my 35 years where illegal immigration was at a 35-year low. And within nine months, totally reversed that and made it the most vulnerable border I've seen in my career. Record numbers went from record low numbers to historic high. And what's really disturbing is that is on purpose. They, 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 they ran on open borders. They, they implemented open borders. They destroyed every policy the Trump administration put in that worked. This is open borders. This is what we're dealing with. You can't tell me one thing this administration has done to slow the flow. Everything they're doing is about how quick can we release people? How quick can we release people? Show me one enforcement action they've taken to slow the flow. There's none. Former acting ICE director Tom Homan, thanks very much. Sandra?